The walk to end Alzheimer's is this Saturday on Maui, then November 9th on Oahu. Now, there is no cure for the disease, afflicting about 30,000 people in Hawaii right now. In this morning's Kapuna Life, Kathy Munano shows us some of the research looking for a cure. Seventy-two-year-old Jill McCready of Kaneohe is the only person in Hawaii and just the eighth person in the world to receive a particular medicine that could potentially prevent the onset of the disease written in her genes, Alzheimer's. How does it feel being one of only eight? People? Well, I, I feel very privileged. As I said, I fit right into a particular criteria level that they had for this study that I don't have any symptoms yet at all. But, um, but the levels in my blood show that, you know, they're low enough and, you know, if they were too high, I wouldn't have been able to be in the study. Jill is a public health scientist and has relatives with Alzheimer's, so she answered the call for volunteers by Hawaii Pacific Neuroscience. Coin. Railroad. Child. 71-year-old Mary Blomgren of Kailua came to Hawaii Pacific Neuroscience after fainting about three years ago. She's now one of several hundred patients in the world in a different Alzheimer's study. I worked at the Mayo Clinic, and that's also a lot of research. I guess I just am very interested in that. So there was no, no hesitation whatsoever. Absolutely, I'll put my hand up, I volunteer even though sometimes it's a little on the rough side, but, you know. Rough because of side effects and having to get the medication through IV infusion here every other week for two years. The research that she's participating is looking at um, reducing um, one of the abnormal protein formation in the brain, which is called the amyloid protein. Um, the amyloid is an abnormal protein that build up outside the brain cells in the brain. We see that a lot in the Alzheimer's patient. Okay, have you look follow my finger and touch my finger with your finger, touch your nose. The research that Jill is involved is in IV medication, just a one-time dose, uh, aimed at preventing uh, the buildup of another abnormal protein in the brain is called a tau protein, but this protein is, is actually inside the brain cells. Have you do this for me, just checking your coordination. And these are just two of more than 30 research studies Hawaii Pacific Neuroscience is working on in partnership with global leaders in medicine. We are very excited, we are very pleased that um, some of the um, people who are pioneering these treatments uh, in, at Mayo Clinic at Cleveland, Harvard, they're willing to work with uh, our local patients. Dr. Liao and his wife opened Hawaii Pacific Neuroscience 10 years ago. Part of it is the Memory Disorder Center. Dr. Liao says every 69 seconds, someone in America develops Alzheimer's. And of those 65 and older, one in eight are affected. His mom had Alzheimer's. He says the highest risk factors are age and genes. You can't do anything about your gene, but uh, we also know that research have shown that the way that we live makes a huge difference in uh, reducing our risk. Dr. Liao told us about exercise and diet and stress reduction through meditation, yoga, so forth. All of those things can help. All of which and more will be discussed at the first ever Brain Health and Wellness Symposium October 25th and next spring put on by Hawaii Pacific Neuroscience and Adventist Health Castle. The research studies are ongoing. They're looking for people 65 or older with some not severe memory loss. For more information on both, go to hawaiineuroscience.com. I'm hoping to find a cure in my lifetime, but if not, I'm hoping to uh, at least contribute to the science and understanding. For Kupuna Life, Kathy Munano, KHON2 News.